In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro discusses the 80th anniversary of the storming of Normandy on D-Day, delving into the significance of the event and the sacrifices made by American troops. Shapiro emphasizes the necessity of World War II and the subsequent Cold War, highlighting the evil nature of the Nazi regime and the importance of American intervention in preserving democracy and Christian values. Shapiro reflects on the heroism and bravery of the men who stormed the beaches of Normandy, emphasizing their commitment to their country, families, and Christian values. He questions where such men can be found today, pointing out the decline in church membership, traditional values, and two-parent households in modern society. He suggests that the values instilled by church and traditional institutions are essential in raising a generation of strong and moral individuals. Shapiro contrasts the values of the greatest generation with the self-involved and emotionally driven culture of today, exemplified by a clip of musician Ray J discussing the impact of a scandalous tape with Kim Kardashian. Ray J acknowledges the negative influence of the tape, especially in light of his role as a parent, highlighting the importance of raising children in a society focused on education and success rather than individual gratification. Shapiro criticizes the prioritization of Pride Month over the commemoration of D-Day, pointing out the media's emphasis on celebrating sexual identities rather than honoring the sacrifices of soldiers. A California state senator's statement about representation in the LGBTQ community in the legislature is mentioned as an example of the cultural shift towards prioritizing identity politics over traditional values. Shapiro also mentions Disney Plus's new Star Wars series, which appears to shift the narrative away from classic battles of good versus evil towards a more politically correct agenda. He highlights the indoctrination of children in the cult of pride as seen in a new Star Wars series called The Acolyte, which is being promoted as the gayest show ever. The lead actress and showrunner of the series are both lesbians, and they aim to raise children to prioritize self-expression and emotional self-centeredness. Shapiro criticizes this approach, arguing that it leads to a generation incapable of heroic acts and sacrifices for the greater good. The discussion then shifts to the education system in Portland, Oregon, where teachers are encouraged to teach young children about decolonization and Palestinian resistance. Shapiro points out the radical ideologies being promoted in schools and the negative impact it has on shaping future generations. He emphasizes the importance of instilling traditional American values in children to ensure a strong and united society. The podcast also delves into the Biden campaign's response to criticism of Joe Biden's mental acuity. Shapiro highlights a Politico article that discusses the strain in the relationship between the White House and the Wall Street Journal, following a story about Biden's health. The Biden campaign is portrayed as resorting to labeling Trump as a potential dictator in an attempt to deflect attention from Biden's own shortcomings. Shapiro criticizes this tactic, pointing out the hypocrisy of the campaign's accusations given their own actions targeting political opponents. Shapiro plays a clip of Donald Trump joking about the possibility of prosecuting political opponents, which the Biden campaign seizes upon as evidence of Trump's authoritarian tendencies. However, Shapiro argues that Trump's comments were taken out of context and that the real threat to democracy lies in the actions of the Biden campaign, which has used the DOJ to target Trump and his associates. As the election approaches, Shapiro predicts that the Biden campaign will continue to focus on painting Trump as a dictator and a danger to democracy. He warns against falling for this narrative and urges listeners to consider the actions and policies of both candidates objectively. Shapiro points out that the institutions of American government are strong enough to withstand any attempts by Trump to consolidate power. He highlights the irony of Democrats accusing Trump of dictatorial tendencies while Joe Biden has been accused of centralizing power in the executive branch. Shapiro predicts that Kamala Harris will likely become president if Joe Biden does not finish his second term, as Biden's cognitive decline is evident. He criticizes Harris for her insincerity and lack of authenticity, pointing out her recent appearance on Jimmy Kimmel, where she discussed Donald Trump's legal troubles and abortion rights. 
Shapiro addresses the accusations of racism against black Republican Congressman Byron Donalds, who made comments about the impact of welfare programs on the black community. He explains that Donalds was not defending Jim Crow, but rather highlighting the negative effects of welfare on black families, citing data on single motherhood rates before and after the Great Society programs. 